Hello, I'm Philip Brunel, Artistic Director and Founder of Vocal Essence and Organist Choir Master at Plymouth Congregational Church in Minneapolis. Each day, Monday through Friday, I've selected a composer who has had a role to play at both organizations. And today, it is that absolutely unique man, Percy Granger. Born in Australia, but spent the majority of his life in the United States, where he became a U.S. citizen, and England. He was responsible for the revival of British folk music and championed Nordic music as well. He discovered by going around into the villages of England 300 songs. In 1906, he had a phonograph, this was very unusual then, a phonograph with, edit, with Edison cylinders that would record someone singing a song and he kept them all and then he did arrangements of these. In 1907, he visited Grieg in Bergen at Grieg's home, Trollhagen, and became such a good friend. In fact, he was responsible for the Grieg Piano Concerto. Obviously, other people played it, but Grieg was most impressed with the way Percy Granger played it. In 1912, now he was born in 1882, in 1912, in Queen's Hall in London, he had a concert of his music, and to say that he was an unusual man is to put it mildly. He did one of his pieces called Fathers and Daughters, which was a piece for 30 guitars and mandolins. I can just imagine what that must have sounded like. Uh, he also included a piece that he wrote called Handel in the Strand, and another one called Molly on the Shore. In 1915, he made his debut in the Aeolian Hall in New York City, doing concerts with Nellie Melba. He also performed for President Woodrow Wilson and was one of the first then to be hired by Columbia Records to record for them. And these were those piano roles that were very famous at that time. Uh, he wrote some music for piano and chorus. This happens to be a piece that was a cappella, text of Oliver Wendell Holmes called Thou Gracious Power. Four little verses, but each one becomes more romantic and there's more uh, harmony changes that happen as you get through Thou Gracious Power.
In 2013, Vocal Essence had a concert of all Granger music. We did it with the University of Minnesota Wind Ensemble. And it was fascinating for the audience and for all of us performers to hear all this music that uh, Granger had written for different combinations. The ensemble singers did one of his pieces called Three Roses, which was for the ensemble singers with three clarinets. It was a very unusual, wonderful color. A piece that he wrote for wind band early on was called Lincolnshire Posey a very strong, wonderful piece that was part of that program. And then a piece called Marching Song for Democracy, which didn't have any text. It was just sounds while the whole big wind ensemble was playing. In 1928, Granger married. And typical of Granger doing these very outlandish things, he was married at the end of a concert in the Hollywood Bowl. Uh, during World War II, he was very active giving charity appearances in favor of helping the troops. And he gave 274 of those appearances. As I mentioned, in 1918, he became a U.S. citizen and he became known for what he called elastic scoring. That meant that you could have it in one combination. Maybe it would be for a few wins but maybe it could be for strings, or maybe it could be for a combination of the two. And then he loved to, he was uh, inventing instruments, one that I don't know what it is, but it was called the Cross Granger Kangaroo Pouch. All of these were music instruments of different kinds. So you see, Percy Granger is just a man that when you explore his music, you go in so many different directions. The other thing he did with his music was especially like his piano music, of which he wrote many pieces, and he was a great pianist. He would write little instructions. So for instance, the piece I'm going to play, it says at the tempo, fairly fast and with a leisurely swing. And then at the beginning, he goes, the top notes should be louder and sharper than the rest. And later it says the lower voice of the right hand slightly louder than the top voice. Then it says very gently and smoothly. And finally, coming near the end, it says violently wrenched. Wrenched but short. And the final section, louden hugely, detached and heavy, louden steadily. This was typical. All these words that ended with L-Y. So this is a very famous piece uh, that Percy Granger arranged. It was a Morris dance tune, and he called it Country Gardens. <laughs>
Have a wonderful day.